Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, looking at the higher frequencies because there's a lot of things to listen to with high solar activity. Uh, once again, a lot of people have commented that uh, it made them tune around those high frequencies that they usually never do because they never hear anything. Remember, it's daytime, mostly daytime, and uh, they usually quiet down at night. It doesn't mean not to try. It, you know, I say it even at times that you think you'll never hear anything. It is uh, always important to still go and tune and see what you can hear. So 25 to 26,000 kilohertz. What's up there? Well, uh, this is part of the 11 meter international broadcast band. The other part is mostly utilities. And so it starts with 25,000. You, know, you could hear WWV in Colorado. So this is WWV. It's mostly in the winter that I hear WWV and those frequencies uh, in general. And then you'll have the rest of the band. So what you could do is um, do it in upper sideband for the most part. Uh, 25,000 to 25,600 uh, has some utility stuff in there. Uh, marine, aeronautical, and so on. Uh, you might be lucky if uh, you tune around regularly and hear a little something. Uh, I've heard a few utility stations over the years. It's not the frequency where you'll hear the most, but sometimes when the conditions are right like they are right now, you never know what you can hear. And of course, as you move up, you'll notice that you'll get into the uh, 25, around 25,700. I'd say uh, it's the start of the international broadcast band. So the international broadcast band is very quiet on 11 meters. There's not been a lot of activity lately. Uh, but, you know, there's a few exceptions. There's a BBC uh, French that's actually using this frequency of, uh, I think it's 25900 in the morning, UTC here. Um, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to be back. Uh, in the uh, B24 schedules last winter BBC was uh, at a couple of hours in English 25900 and they were actually making it uh, up here in, uh, in Montreal so hopefully they might be using that frequency again uh, one frequency to take note 25800 25800 is uh, world music radio from Denmark uh, it's not really coming in right now, but I've heard it in the last few weeks uh, several times. So it's a low-powered uh, broadcaster. It's, it's there 24 hours a day, but 25800 might be uh, something you monitor regularly and be surprised that you could hear the, uh, da the uh, Danish world music radio station. And, of course, the international broadcast band continues all the way to 26100. Uh, like I said, not a lot of stations today using this band. Uh, there used to be a lot more. Uh, Voice of America used to use this uh, in the 70s, 80s. Um, radio uh, RSA in South Africa. Uh, BBC Radio France would use these frequency ranges too. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a quiet band, but it's just go tune around. You never know. Um, the upper part here is also populated with... FM to transmitter links uh, so if you check it out and you have FM mode um, you might sometimes hear a uh, studio to transmitter FM link uh, there used to be one regular um, a couple of years back in on 910 here 25 910 was uh, one in Dallas Texas that was transmitting uh, sometimes they activate them temporarily for events so that's why if you don't hear anything Go tune around every day uh, and tune around when there's special events or in the weekends. You might be surprised that one pops up that's you know activated just for uh, a special event and it will propagate. These are pretty low power in general, so uh, they're not as easy to listen to, but you never know. Uh, remember the good old days of uh, uh, WFLA in Tampa 
the Bay of Florida that was on uh, 25800 NFM uh, back in the 90s. So tune around, and you never know what you can hear on this frequency range, and who knows, world music, radio in Denmark, or anything else. And of course, you can chase WWV Colorado 25,000 if you've never heard it before. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.